Hey, what's up everybody? JC, the Ozark Bushman here. It is a beautiful July afternoon here in Southwest Missouri. It's like a high of 80, overcast. It's, we are actually in record low temps right now. We should be in the triple digits, but this whole month has been nice. We've barely reached, I think, 95 degrees. But I want to talk about the four primary tools for camping and bushcraft. So the first thing you'll want is either you'll want a chopping tool. You're going to want something like a decent knife, like this tracker here. This is a 12-inch tracker for chopping. You want something good for chopping. Or you can go with a camp axe or hatchet because you need something to cut kindling and such or firewood. Because in all honesty, you don't need a bunch of wood to make a fire, a survival fire, or even fire, period. You just need to make kindling and use some tinder and get something going. And I don't spend a lot of time processing wood. I'll just drag logs onto the fire and then keep pushing them in as the night prolongs, you know. But yeah, you definitely want a chopping tool. And then you'll want something maybe like a smaller fixed blade. Like I got this Mora Companion Heavy Duty here. And this will be great for like uh, food prep. Um, carving, bushcraft, this would be more for like your precision cuts, if you're woodworking and like you know you're processing your food and such. And then you also want uh, like a, uh, a multi-tool, like this, uh, this Swiss Army knife right here. You want something that has you know bottle opener, can opener, something utilitarian, because this is definitely for utility. So, you know, you're out camping, you open a can of beans, or uh, you need you got that nice beer you like to drink, you'll want a bottle opener, and plus you also got a small backup folding knife blade for, say, cutting open packages of meat or hot dogs or something, you know. And then there's several other applications on here, too, you know, how Swiss Army a knife is. So this will be for your utility use. And then your last thing would be a saw. Like this Baco Lab Lender here, you're gonna you want a saw so you can cut limbs and help process wood and such. Which you don't need something huge just to have a campfire, survival fire, and such. This depends on what you're what you're doing. But yeah, those would be the four items right there, and these two fall into the category of chopping tool. Whether you prefer a big knife or you prefer a hatchet. So, those are the four you, you, you primary tools you need for bushcraft and camping. But, use your own discretion. I can do a lot if I'm out in the woods with a more and just a SAK. You know, it's all about your skill level. But, those are the top four I recommend, folks. JC, sign out.